something that I found really interesting, you know, about peak performers in my 13 years of working with agents from, you know, brand new in the industry who were starting out to agents who were writing like, you know, seven, eight figures. And, you know, these peak performers, they, they, they've got an incredible, you know, knack about them to be able to, you know, what, what I manage their emotions and their feelings. Yeah. So you think about someone like literally is brand new in the industry. They, 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 they lose a listing and they've got this so much high intention of like winning the listing. They might be practicing role playing, looking at ideas and strategies, some cutting edge ways to win the listing. And then, you know, someone says, thanks so much. It was really close, but we've gone with someone else. And I remember, uh, you know, talking to an agent who started this and, you know, they were just devastated, right? And uh, three days later, I just check in on them and say, how are you going? And, and they're still like thinking about what they could have done. One of the things that I found that if you can, if you can get this in the beginning, like just get this one thing, peak performers have high intention, but low attachment. And sometimes we have high intention. We want to win the listing and we have this high attachment. We just get attached so much. We work out what's wrong. What did I say? Um, or we're blaming the other person. You know, they should have gone with me. I've done this. I did that. And peak performers are just incredibly, you know, in tune with themselves in their frequency about like having high intention in intention about what they're doing, but they've got simply low attachment, right? They could go out and door knock on 50 doors, for example, have high intention of getting a lead or a potential seller. And, you know, if they get told off or someone screws at them, they don't care because they get so, they have this low attachment field around them. So one thing that I think, because you think about it, every time you come from this place of, you know, high intention and you have high attachment, it creates a state. And when you're in that state, you're literally like basically, you know, you're, you're, you're coming from a, a disempowered state, right? Which, and when you're in a disempowered state, and remember sales is leadership, like you've got to think about sales is leadership and you can't lead people from a disempowered state. You've actually got to lead people from an empowered state. So an empowered state is when you have high intention and you're not attached to anything, meaning that things become almost meaningless. That's what peak performers do. They really have things that they care, but they don't care. I remember another time, I just want to share this really other quick one, where the same thing happened to a, um, you know, Steve, to this lady that, uh, you know, she, she lost the lifting. And she goes, this guy in, this, in, in my office, like, he's such a savage and a killer. And, you know, he goes in there and gets the price adjustment. Um, and she said, I could never do that. And, you know, and I, and I sort of get that. But I also understand that she's coming from a place of compassion. But you've got to use tactical empathy. And that's what high intention, low attachment is all about as well. Like you'd have this tactical empathy where basically you're going in there, but you've also got to care but don't care. And what I mean by that is you care enough that that's what you're explaining to them, that it's what's best for them because you're coming from an empowered state and you're leading, but you don't care what they care or what their thoughts are because you know what's, that's what's best for them. And... You know, she just, she was like looking at me going, thinking, you know, I can't believe this. Like, you know, he, he gets this all the time because the reality is compassion. And that's why you need tactical empathy is compassion means suffering with someone else. And that's not leading. That's not sales. That's not leadership, right? Because if you're suffering with someone else or you're tiptoeing around them or you're bound to someone else, but you're the authority, it's like going to see a doctor and he's got compassion and he says, like, let's suffer, let me suffer with you. Or does he, you go and see your doctor and he says, hey, this is what you need to do. This is how we're going to help you and make you better. Like, that's the thing. It's called the Highline Method. It's really cool. I've learned it over the years, having great mentors and coaches, to come from an empowered state as an agent. It's about leading. High intention. Low attachment.